show you the RT22, the Retevis little FRS radio that uh, the Cobb Area Council and myself are recommending for neighborhood communications and emergency alerts, re reception and communication. Uh, this is a very inexpensive radio. Uh, we get them in bulk for about $28 a pair. And uh, if you'd like one and don't have one yet, uh, you can contact me at kk6tmn at gmail.com. So more than likely, though, you're someone who's received this radio. And so I want you to look at the channel list. You can look at this on the back of your radio. If you don't have a channel list on the back of your radio, contact me. Uh, those two channels in the middle, nine is highlighted and eight are very important now. They are the same frequency. If you look really close, you'll see. Uh, that's because nine is just used for receiving emergency or test communication. So if you don't want to hear chit chat, you can keep your radio on nine and only hear emergency uh, communication. However, right now, especially since there's not much on the mountain yet, uh, channel eight is where we're all gathering mountain wide. This is the whole Cobb area uh, mountain uh, channel. And uh, these channel assignments, by the way, are just my own device. There's nothing official or governmental or nothing written in law about these. So as the family radio service, the FRS service works, whoever's there first uh, has the right of way. So if someone's using our emergency channel, we have to find another one, although we could explain to them um, about what we're doing. And uh, there's not much traffic there. You'll hear occasional messages. Um, the one through five or six, uh, we've assigned to the various Cobb area neighborhoods. When eight gets so crowded that you just want to talk to the folks in your own little neighborhood, you can use one of those. In fact, you can feel free to use any of the channels on this for that. You can just say, hey, let's meet on 16 and, uh, and meet there. By the way, these radios do interface with your toy DMRS radio or FRS radios that you may already have. But notice this is just a 16 channel radio. Those are usually 22. So it jumps. If you look at channel seven or location seven, I should say, it is FRS channel seven. Location eight jumps to FRS channel 15. Okay, 15. And then it goes all the way up to FRS channel 22, uh, which corresponds to R16. So there are other radios that will have those numbers. We'll try to use location when we're talking about this radio. I'm on location eight, which is channel 15 on most uh, FRS or GMRS, which is the big brother to FRS, stands for General Mobile Radio Service. That's the big brother of FRS. So eight is where we do our net check-ins. Eight hears everything that's on nine. So you keep it on eight, you'll hear chit chat and any emergency communications that, that were put on location nine, I have to correct myself, location nine or channel 15. Um, and so let me uh, tell you the radio, show you how it works. Turn it on. Power on, one. And you'll hear a message, power on message along with uh, the channel that you're on. You can move channels with the side button, actually the other side button, a plus sign. So two. I'm going to channel two, Three. et cetera. Okay, these buttons also serve another purpose. If there is a distant station that uh, I need to hear, I may even uh, tell you on these net check-ins, everybody turn your squelch off. That means you're going to hear everything. Static and all. So there may be somebody buried in the static and you can just barely hear. If the squelch is on, finger off, you're not going to hear them. So the reason to take the squelch off again, and you have to hold it down, is to hear weak stations. The minus button serves another function. It puts this into scan. When I push and let go, I have to hold it for about a second now of the minus button. The, the green light blinks. Hopefully you can see that. The green light blinks, and it's scanning now through all 16 channels. So this is another good place to keep it. Just keep it in scan and have it rotating through those channels. I would, especially since there's not much activity yet, uh, I would keep it in scan mode and listen to all channels and see who else is out there. 
you may forget that it's in scan mode and it'll keep scanning until you hit that button and you hear the two beeps and notice the green light is no longer flashing. So that's the scan function. So on Saturdays at 1 p.m. we do a net check-in. Uh, this is to get us used to net protocol or um, talking in a large group because if you get 20, 30, 50, 100 people all on the same frequency, it can be chaos, especially in emergency. So uh, I serve as the net work or net control and it's sort of like parliamentary procedure. All communications go through net control. So I'm going to show you how this uh, works. If you want to break in, ask a question. By the way, don't say break, break. Uh, CB language is generally not used on these radios. And in ham uh, parlance, break, break means emergency. So you wouldn't use that unless it's a life and death emergency and you really have to get in. Instead, you would say something like this. Question. Oh, we're not on the same channel. Question. Go ahead, question. Or net control, it's Mel. Go ahead, Mel. Relay. Go ahead, relay. Okay, those short little one word, one, two, three word break ins uh, to net control will tell, let net control know there's somebody out there who's got something they need to say. Uh, if it's an emergency, say emergency or priority and uh, net control should give it to you right away. Um, hopefully many of you will learn how to uh, do net control and maybe graduate to more powerful radios and you could do that in the future uh, so that I'm not the only one. Eventually we hope to have a repeater uh, on the mountain that will communicate to all areas of the mountain, in fact, off the mountain, maybe down to Middletown, Clear Lake area as well, so that um, we can communicate mountain-wide there. That will require to transmit on a GMRS license. That's a $70 10-year license, covers the whole family or family household. Um, but you can monitor the repeater, and that's what Channel 8 will be doing. It will be monitoring the repeater. Um, and so you will hear everything. If you can't be heard because you're not GMRS licensed, you simply uh, ask for a relay, somebody licensed hopefully in your area, and we hope to cover all neighborhoods with people uh, licensed, we'll be able to relay it through the repeater. Right now though, we're not using the repeater, so everybody's on equal footing, although some neighborhoods have more radios in place than others. The Siegler Springs to Ridge Road has about 20 radios, so those people are quite connected We'll get the other neighborhoods more and more connected and these will become more and more functional as you connect with your neighbors and eventually a repeater or net control covering a wide area right now i'm moving from area to area um, there are accessories that come with this uh, you should have a charging cable which goes into this slot you can charge via a usb port on your computer or a phone charger or if you have the built-in phone charger uh, you would plug the cable into that uh, you can get a headphone adapter and or programming cable for this. If you're interested in programming these yourselves, let me know, I have extra programming cables now uh, because of that. Uh, but a headphone will allow you to do what's called Vox. The radio will have to be reprogrammed, but you could talk without having to push the push to talk button, which say if you're bike riding uh, can get a little tedious. Uh, it'll just respond to your voice. Um, I encourage you to use these for all kinds of applications, communicating from house out to yard, uh, camping, uh, while you're walking, shopping. These come in very handy when you're lost in a, in a, uh, in a shopping mall. Um, here on the Siegler Springs area, we announce internet and power outages. They become very handy to know you're not the only one suffering that. Again, my name is Mel. My email is kk6tmn at gmail. Uh, write me questions or comments there or find me on channel 8 we'll see you 1 p.m. Saturdays throughout fire season and then probably once a month through the winter on channel 8 or GMRS channel 15 I should say location 8 on the Retevis radio thank you for listening and uh, send me your questions <laughs> I don't have a touch screen I have to